after the deadliest disaster ever on the world's highest peak. Sixteen Sherpa guides died in an avalanche on Mount Everest last week. The bodies of three of them have yet to be recovered. Sherpas are central to the perilous and lucrative Everest climbing industry. They set routes, secure ropes and carry kit for tourists who often pay tens of thousands of pounds to try to reach the summit. But they're demanding greater protection following last week's tragedy. They want better insurance, more generous compensation for those killed and injured and the establishment of a welfare fund. The Nepalese government has held talks with the Sherpas to try to persuade them not to boycott this year's Everest climbing season. Most climbers are scheduled to make their summit attempts in just a few weeks' time, and the dispute means work to prepare their high-altitude routes is on hold. A number of big trekking firms have now called off their trips, and it's looking increasingly unlikely that any summit attempts will be made this season. The Sherpas know it's not safe. The government knows it's not safe. Anyone that crosses those ice falls at this time or this season are doing so at great risk to themselves as climbers and to the Sherpas. More than 700 people have been issued with permits to climb Everest this year. Some Sherpas say they'll struggle financially if the season is officially scrapped. Stuart Hughes.